Alright, welcome everybody back to another Raid Shadow Legends video. Welcome to a video about Halloween Champions. Woohoo! They're finally here. Skills and everything. Val the Nightborn. Look at this guy. His eyes are glowing red. His skills are thirsty blood. Exquisition mine shroud notorious and he has an aura so he is a legendary champion void attack and undead hordes Woo so it looks like uh five six six that's what twelve seventeen books for this dude damn so let's get into it first his first skill includes attacks one enemy and decreases the target's max HP by 30% of the damage inflicted. Also heals this champion by 30% of the damage inflicted. Attacks all enemies and has a 75% chance of placing a leech. Debuff for two turns also has a 75% chance of stealing 50% of the turn meter from this champion from the Banner Lord. From the Banner Lord scares order or high elves factions and it has a 75% chance of decreasing the turn meter by 50% instead of against targets not for the faction. Nice. Stealing the turn meter is is a means, you know, they won't be able to use their skills and stuff. He also has for my shroud. Attacks one enemy two times. The first hit has a 75% chance of placing a 60% decreased defense debuff for two turns. The second hit has a 75% chance of placing a block active sh skills debuff for two turns. If both debuffs are placed, places a perfectly fail buff on the champion for two turns. Nice. It's every four turns on that one, every four turns on the other one. Hmm. His last one, Notorious, is places a revive on death buff on this champion for two turns. Every time this champion champion kills an enemy, also fully heals the champion and fills their turn meter by fifty percent every time they kill the, an enemy. That's pretty cool. As soon as he kills somebody, he's fully healed. Um, so you definitely want to get somebody killed. Uh, will only heal and fill this champion's turn meter when Constantine the Dayborn is on the same team. And his aura is increased ally crit rate and it rebounds by 30%. Now, Constantine is the one that I hinted in one of my videos. And a lot of people didn't notice it. I did. Now, Rachel Legends has a little tiny story. I'm going to read it for a little second. Since we have... And I forget, I usually do this at the beginning of the video. I'm sorry about that. So we have two special Halloween champions to show off. Twins are born to mortal women and a vampire father. So they're both vampires. Valden the Const Valden or Vlad Vlad and Constantina came into the world in opposing sides of the light. Born in the last moments of darkness before daybreak. The eldest, Vlad, was set up on the path of night of his father. Born minutes after Constantina opened his eyes to the first rays of dawn. Taking the path of light like their mother, both possessed of the incredible abilities, the twins both became legends in their own right. And despite their opposing natures, have come to put aside their differences to work together to harness great power. Check out, check out the, the skills of the new champions. So, as you can see right over here, Constantine, they born on the same team, will only heal and fill this champion's turn meter when Constantine and they born is on the same team. Okay, so I think though, um, I think this skill only works when, I think that's what they're saying. Only skills when, when Constantine's there. Okay. Alright, let's get into Constantine's 
Constantine's skills and stuff. He's also the same thing. He's void and legendary. But instead of undead, he's the scarce order and he's an attack type. So his skills are sort of suns, ruin shattered, quietude, exiled, and his aura is increased ally attack in the arena battles by 30%. So an arena guy. Um, looks like we have five, five, and five. So 15 books for this guy. So first one, he is attacks one and many and places an extra hit if the target is under any debuff. Okay, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. So in the arena, he would be attacking a lot then. Attacks all enemies two times and each hit ignores 10% of each target's defense of every leech and decreased defense and block active skills debuffs are all debuffs they are all under four turns for that one uh second sorry third skill is attacks one enemy before attacking steals all buffs from the target then transfer all debuffs from this target from this champion to the target decreases the cooldown of the quiet dude skill by two turns if this attack kills an enemy so the one up there is, no, it's actually this one. So this skill, you know, takes the four turns down to two turns if he kills an enemy. Uh, and then, I don't know how many, how many turns you get. I think it, uh, with the, all these books, it would take it down to three. If I did the math correct. <laughs> It would take down a three, and then if you kill an enemy, it would take it down just to two turns. Or, yeah, maybe just two turns total. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So, in the arena, what they're saying is, if you put any buffs on him, he'll he'll attack you. He'll attack you. So that so a lot of times they do that you know people the champions are doing buffs on other ones so that you're gonna be doing a lot of attacking so you want to load this dude up with a lot of attack and also steals the all the buffs from the target so uh so says all of them so like let's say the um, the continuous heals the shields all that stuff and then. Or transfer me all debuffs from the target. To then transfer all debuffs from this champion to the target. And then on top of that, when you put a debuff on him, transfer. So let's say you put a stun or something, and it goes uh, goes to the enemy. So this dude's gonna be like really hard in the arena to beat. You're gonna have to just do straight attack. You can't use any buffs on this guy because he'll he'll mess, he'll steal them from you. You can't use any buffs on yourself either. You can't use the buff on him or against him. And then the last skill is enemies from the undead horde, demon spawn, and knights renovated factions factions killed by this champion cannot be revived. Oh oh. So kind of like block revive type thing, only but only for certain factions. Only available when the Flat of the Nightborn is on the same team. So you want both of these guys in the arena to make them super powerful. Like they said, uh, they have come together. Put they have come to put aside their differences and work together to harness the great power. Woo! -hoo. So. There you have it, guys. Um, and when I see the fragment schedule event, I will also do a video about that, so you guys can know the the if you don't already know. So that's pretty much um, my gif on the matter. And my feelings are is that they they are going to be super powerful together. It's not just going to be like oh one little tiny thing. I think though they will be very powerful together. <laughs> And so I definitely will be going for them. Let me know if you guys are going for them in the comments below. And thanks for watching my video. And I will see you later. Oh, yes. And don't forget. Oh, yeah. 
I almost forgot. I almost forgot, guys. Don't forget, Lord of Fly 36 on Twitch. On Halloween, I will be doing a giveaway. Google card giveaway. And it will be very simple to win. Just, an just answer a question. Do a guessing, guessing question type thing. And you will win the code on the Google card. And it will be sent to you on any communication.